can you believe what we're about to do right now? Hey, we're Colin and Meg, full-time travelers with our two little girls. If you watched our last vlog, this is part two of our trip around Saba, home to orangutans, sun bears, and the beautiful Rafflesia. It's wild, it's beautiful, and it's also where Colin grew up. In this video, we're headed for the mighty King of Batangan River. It's the longest river in Saba and our gateway to go deeper into the jungle. I may be biased, but this vlog is a special one and might be our most favorite family adventure yet. Here okay. This is at the window at the boat. Okay, there's no windows, it's just open. And they should add on his dead without him. Ray, Ray, di mana kita sekarang di hutan, yo. We are spending the next two days on this river. We're going to go on a river safari, see a lot of animals. It's gonna be awesome. Two nights. River cruises, animals. This is the part of the adventure that I've been the most excited about. I'm so giddy right now. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Quick rundown of our room. This is our room tour. Look behind me, that's it. <laughs> but it's pretty nice. We each have our own bed. We have hot water, AC. So everything in here has been redone. There's, it just looks fresh. It looks really nice. The bathroom, Ooh. the bathroom, floor to ceiling tile, hot water heater, basically A plus, what would you say? This is rainforest luxury. Okay, this is rainforest luxury. I just said that. I thought you were giving me my line. I, I thought, thought you were. I thought you were going to say line. something else. I'm not. Rainforest I, luxury. Oh, that was an original thought right here. <laughs> Our guides wasted no time at all. We arrived at 3:30, and by 4, we were back on our boat for our evening cruise on the river. Can you tell me what you see? A matter of time before it rained and when it did you couldn't help but feel like it was a welcome to the jungle somehow it brought huge smiles on our faces and Meg and I actually had thought the same thing this was one of those core memories that we'll have in our minds for years to come this is so fun. <laughs> looking for animals on a boat in the middle of the jungle in the pouring rain Okay, so I'm about to go on a night walk and I'm gonna be honest, I'm terrified. I'm scared of frogs, I'm scared of bugs, scared of everything, leeches, I'm <coughs> very terrified, but I figured what I can't see won't scare me. So here we go. Okay. <laughs> this is to prevent leeches. The balloon. Then the balloon. 
before and after okay and these are the guides that are not coming <laughs> number one number two sending us to the dark jungle <laughs> The ranger will lead you to go for the night walk tonight. Okay. And uh, basically, the walk will be about an hour, and it will takes about one uh, one point five kilometer trail. It will be like either it's going to be a loop or a zigzag. That's me, shirt tucked in, leech socks, and mud boots. And it wasn't long before we found our first sighting. I was on my guide's tail the whole time, number one, who wouldn't? Number two, I was genuinely curious on how he was going to find anything with just a torchlight. But it didn't take long for him to find our first cat of the night. Hey, follow that ranger, he said. One thing, it's pregnant. It's a Malay civet. I asked our guide, how does he even find these animals? And he said to just look for two small orange dots when you pan around. The saying, easier said than done, has never been more true. Yes. It's 5.55 and we're going on a morning cruise. Our morning cruise was just pure relaxation and we got to see some more locals of the Kinabatangan River. We spent the rest of the day playing games, eating all our snacks, talking, painting, and drank lots and lots of tea. All right, so we're staying at the Billet Adventure Lodge, so we are in the middle of the Kinabatangan River, which is the longest river in Sabah, second longest in Malaysia. The first one's only four kilometers longer. So, 
Anyways, so life here is pretty simple. We wake up, we do a morning cruise to find animals, we chill, we do crafts, we drink tea, and at four o'clock in the afternoon, we go out and find more animals via boat. And we go up the river, down the river, we stop when we see animals. It's amazing. The staff here is incredible. It's just, once you're out here, and you're far away from civilization, none of us have strong Wi-Fi or reliable Wi-Fi. None of us have strong phone signals. It keeps going in and out, and we're all just in like a family, it feels like, and it's just fun. Life is slow. I love it here. Anything else you need to say? Uh, no, my fried bananas are getting cold, so we gotta go, and then we're gonna go on our last cruise here. I can say it's all about nature. It's about wildlife, and uh, it's all about the green stuff. Basically, I love everything that involved with nature. To be honest, the best part of going to be in part of Pilit Adventure Lodge is to, to see the wildlife during the river cruise. And of course, to see the rare animals like elephants and orangutan. Uh, these animals, they all can be found in this area. So that makes this special place for me. We're gonna see elephants tonight. So, uh, <laughs> finger cross, finger cross. Uh, it's. All people hope, I think we're gonna see elephants today. Yeah. All right, okay. <laughs> optimistic, huh? <go>, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. True, but if we find elephants, I'll cry. Yeah, we do. Um, but <laughs> I mean, no pressure. I know you can't control oh, it. Oh no, uh, we also would like to see them. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Okay, what you're about to see is a very magical evening that rarely happens. After two cruises up and down the river, the elephant in the room was that we all wanted to see them, including our guides. They got word that they were far up the river, and so our driver was instructed only to stop if they were orangutans. In other words, we're on a mission. We came across a local fisherman and our guides couldn't resist getting more intel to where the elephants are. The local fisherman said, go to the first bird's nest, there's about 40 of them. Elephants. 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 Ah, we'll see if this happens. What? Like I already can crap. That is the bird house. Now these birdhouses they're referring to are these artificial caves for swiftlets who build nests out of their saliva which is then harvested to make bird's nest soup, a prized delicacy in Chinese cuisine, believed to have anti-aging properties. I know, it's a whole other story. From behind this guy's house apparently there's a bunch and we just heard an elephant. So we're going to be off from the bowl and then we can wait to open the lunch jacket. And we will slowly go inside. Berapa ekor dalam tu? See, I told you about 40 of them. 45 wild. 40 elephants. There's 40 of them. Oh my gosh. Right now, uh, we have some info from the villagers that, you know, there were some elephants uh, behind their home. So right now, we're gonna have a look on it. How many elephants they said they have? 40. There's 40 of them. Can you believe what we're about to do right now? What? Elephants, baby. Be quiet. Follow this guy. So the elephants are telling us to go because they want to go to the river and so all the guides have asked us to go back to the boat so that we can watch them from the water. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome so much. Thank you. We are in the wild. We are really close to them. My heart is like, how to be like 
12 of them <gasps> that we can already oh see. Oh my god. Oh my god. This river is a magical place on earth. You need to come here. And when you do, pray hard that you get to see these elephants. I'm so, I'm so grateful to see these elephants. It's amazing. Between the Wi-Fi that doesn't really work, the afternoon rain, the animals, and the slow pace of life, I would choose staying on this river over many other types of vacations. This is the kind of stuff you want to raise your kids on. These are the kind of days that you hope they will always remember.